Hello uh, and welcome to amongahelpers.com official video article. Today I will be showing you various uh, devices that you can read manga on, on the go. Uh, the very first um, device I want to show to you is a uh, mobile phone, cell phone. Uh, today I have the Sharp 904i Docomo phone, brought to you by FOMA. Uh, on this we have um, a manga viewer that came pre-installed. Now, if I choose the manga and book reader on the phone, it gives me a little error saying I don't have a micro SD card, but in there I have one piece. I believe it came pre-installed with the phone or uh, it was, yeah, pre-installed, yes, right? And uh, with it, you can check out uh, one piece. Now, the cool thing about this is uh, it's all in color and you get to, uh, it's pretty easy to read, if you can check it out. Just clicking the right button, and it goes into um, uh, the next to screens and whatnot. It's pretty uh, easy to read. The font's really big. I guess the only um, problem with it really is that you don't get the whole screen, and so it kind of seems like you're reading a, a four comma magazine manga thing, and so it doesn't have that full uh, effect like you're reading from a book. Now, if you are kind of craving that, then uh, I have another device. It's a relatively new device. It's called the Android phone uh, by Do or by Google actually. Uh, teamed up with, again, Dokumo. Now with this phone, uh, you just download the program ACV, and in ACV, uh, you just open up a file. It can take many different files, for example, zip or RAR format, so you don't have to uh, get a special format to read it. Um, right now I have it, there's various different settings you can uh, set up, for example, uh, scale mode, transition mode, show the screen number, custom controls, reading direction, auto rotate, uh, load last comic, RAR support, uh, user manual, and then you know contacting uh, the person in control of or created that created this program, you know, robot comics. Now, um, currently I have it. Uh, right to left in Japanese style because uh, I'm reading the manga in Japanese uh, and I also have uh, cust various custom controls for example in it uh, I like to have it um, like here here it is in full scale mode right now but uh, if I double click on the screen it zooms in and uh, if I press uh, the back button it zooms out. Now, I like to get it to about where it's this big on the page, and uh, I don't really have to do any scrolling. Now, right now I have, uh, if, if I press the ball, I go to the next page. Now, here you can see it seems pretty nice. Um, the font is well enough, you know, big enough to read. If, for example, if it does get to the point where it's really small, all I do is double click and I can zoom around and use the little ball to rotate pages. Now, currently for me, it's very convenient to read uh, on the cell phone because the pages are quite, you know, pr quite pretty. I mean, well, high quality in my case. Uh, and I have no problem, you know reading the font and going to next pages and I can put quite a bit of manga in it depending on the size of the SD card and overall it's a really really nice reading experience uh, for example if you don't have a nifty uh, Android cell phone and, but you have a PSP uh, there's also various programs that allow you to um, read manga on your PSP now 
Sony has created a, uh, or is creating a official one that they will be releasing soon. And I actually got a chance to, you know, use it firsthand at the Tokyo Game Show. Uh, let me give you a little bit of my opinions. First of all, uh, when you're reading it on the official one, all I was able to read was uh, in this mode, you know, having it horizontal versus, you know, having it being vertical. Now, when it's like this, uh, you press the button and it would go like the cell phone, uh, go to different frames, and overall you didn't really get to see the entire uh, page. And I found that kind of annoying. And I tried to change the settings, you know, to have it vertical. While it did go vertical, it would only show the vertical page like this. So it was really super tiny, and overall, I found it quite hard to use. But uh, if I have it uh, like on this program, it's uh, just a regular uh, picture viewer, you just have the entire page like this, and if you want to go over to the left a little bit, you press you know, the left button, and I can even read like this, and press the button again, read. Overall, really, really easy to read. You get the whole page, so it's not like, uh, not like you're reading something. Um, well, it kind of gives the book feel, I guess I should say. And overall, I found it, you know, a very nice and enjoyable read. Now, the other device that I wanted to show you is a uh, ebook reader. Now. I got this ebook reader when they first came out, the uh, Sony ebook reader. This is the 500 version, uh, so it only has four grayscales. And so it's not uh, the best when I guess it comes to reading manga, but when it overall, it's not exactly that bad. Uh, there are some books that are uh, released in the ebook store specifically designed for it and I think it gives a really good um it gives a e-reader justice but uh overall uh it's not bad either currently I have a death note in it and in English version uh, just to give you a hint on how it is to read not very hard at all Anyways, of these uh, e-readers, or these, uh, I guess, electronic devices, uh, I wanted to know is, which of them did you find uh, the easiest to read from? Or which one would you find the most convenient? Would you like uh, e-readers, or devices, to have be f small enough to fit in your pockets? Or would you rather have it be closer to the book form, where you don't have to scroll any, and it's pretty much the same size as the manga book? Or uh, do you not mind having it uh, be only like one little frame at a time and you move and it being all in color? Or would you like it having it with your video games, you know, video games, and then read it on your PSP, which is also, I guess, able to fit in your pocket as well? So of these, which do you think is better? And of the ones available currently in your country or where you live, um, are you pleasant, or is, is it a pleasant experience for you, or are there things that you wish they would change? Uh, if you could leave some comments in the comment section, I would be uh, extremely grateful. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is MangaHelpers.com, signing out. Bye-bye.